I am so excited. <laughs> it is a Lumicrate time and I absolutely loved doing the unboxing video for this last month and this is the October box, October 2023. I am super excited to unbox this again and record my reactions because they are always completely over the top when it's got anything to do with books and bookish goodies. So I'm not even really going to do a proper intro because I'm just too excited to open this book box and it took everything in me to not just open it and to get everything set up for filming first. So as you can see, I haven't broke it yet, the cell tape. So I'm going to do that now. I broke the little seal and I am opening the box. Ah, so excited. Oh, so pathetic. I love it. Okay, so the theme, I don't want oh, to scratch that, so shame. But yeah, the theme is fairy tale forests and I know nothing about this. I've actively avoided anything that could spoil it. I've not been looking at new releases. I don't want to know what it is because last time my sister accidentally spoiled what the book was going to be. And even though I hadn't really read up about it, I still knew what it was going to be. So that was a bit unfortunate. But this time I am completely blind going in. So as you can see, that's the box. I'm just going to pop it up here and I will go through everything that is in the box and talk it through. And the last thing will be the book. So if you don't care about anything else, then I will put a timestamp to when I am actually unboxing the book so that you can see that. Okay, let's go. The first thing is an Otherworld desk mat. Oh, a desk mat. So I work from home and I play a lot of video games. So I do already have two mouse mats. Apologies for the crinkling, by the way, in this video. I already have two mouse mats, but I mean, having more, I'm sure is always great. And oh, it's so pretty. Guys, I don't have a long one. So actually, this is perfect. I've been looking to try and get one that is a bit longer and I'm really glad that I didn't buy it now. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'll use this for work or gaming. I'll probably use it for gaming. And if anyone knows what book this is from, then please let me know. All I know is that it is one of my favourite colours and it's a mouse mat, so it's just very practical. Like, I feel like the gifts last time gifts they're not gifts i guess but the little goodies that are in the box last time weren't super like practical i guess like one of them was a book like not a bowl cozy not book cozy one of them was a bowl cozy and i was like i'm never going to use that and one is like a little magnet and i'm like it's very cute but i'm probably not gonna use it i'll find somewhere for it i've got it on my shelves up here because it's cute but it's not like practical so let's see if the rest of the stuff is practical. Watch it be the most unpractical stuff now. <gasps> Book tabs. Book tabs. <laughs> Again, another practical gift. I, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'll ever want to use these though because look how pretty they are. But it will convince me to tab again because I haven't annotated or tabbed any of my books recently because you need to read slower when you're annotating or I guess if you're doing a reread. So I've just not really bothered for a while and I've been wanting to do it again so I guess this is my sign to do it. So yeah, book tabs. Let's see what is next. That's the book so I'm definitely going to not open that just yet. So we've got this which is something in a little pouch. What is this? What is this? <gasps> is this a bookmark? Well, it's not a bookmark actually, it's a little ornament. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's a little sword. Oh, look at that. I was going to say, could you use it as a bookmark? I think it might be a little bit too thick to be used as a bookmark, but it would be really cute decorative and I'm sure I'll find something to use it for. It is so cute. Oh, look at that. I don't know, is it like a letter opener or something? I'm not sure. But also, oh, I could use it to open all of my Illumicrate boxes in the future. <laughs> Oh, just make it more bookish, you know. Oh, that's actually really cute. I love that. I think my favourite thing so far has probably been the desk map because I do play a lot of games, so I'll get so much use out of that. But so far, all three things, I like them a lot, actually, and I know what they are, so that's great. Okay, the book, there's something underneath the book, so I'm going to take that out first and leave the book to last. <gasps> is that a notebook? Oh my gosh, is that a notebook? I love stationery and I love notebooks in general. So, oh my gosh. Oh, 
Again, apologies for the crinkling in this. But yeah. <gasps> for finding dreams that don't exist yet. It is a journal! Ah! <laughs> it's a notepad slash journal. It's empty. So can use it for what we want. And oh my gosh, I've been meaning to buy a reading log because I want to start logging the books that I read, like writing it down because I love journaling and I love notebooks and stuff, but I've not been able to find a reading log that would suit me. Like a lot of them are either just kind of like basic on the outside and what I'm looking for on the inside, but I kind of care about both. Or there's way too much on the inside that I wouldn't use. So it feels pointless to get, but it's beautiful on the outside. So I've been meaning to get one for ages and I have seen some people create their own personal reading logs. So I might actually use that idea for this and create my own reading log because is this not perfect for a reading log? This is stunning. Okay, this is my favorite thing now. Oh my gosh, a notebook. <laughs> this is like me with the puzzle last time. I'm just getting so ridiculously excited over something so like normal, but yeah, oh. Those are all super duper practical items. Like we've got a notepad, a mouse mat, a small ornament slash letter opener and book tabs. It's so functional. Oh my gosh. Bookish and functional. How perfect. Okay. And now for the main attraction. So this is for the book and I am super excited. I have no idea what book this is going to be. All I know is it's got something to do with the forest. So let us see. It feels pretty thick actually. Thick book. Oh, stunning. <laughs> Look at it. Sorry, I probably shouldn't shake it. How the hell are you meant to see it then? But yeah, oh my gosh. Like there's a little bear. Okay, and then it's green on either edge. And then we've got this. I'll show it naked after I go through the synopsis at the back. So we have, it is After the Forest by Kelly Woods. That's so pretty. <laughs> okay. She knew the recipe by heart, could recite it in her sleep. And yet she was always careful to work with the book beside her, open at the same dusty page, the ink worn with long use. To not do so would result in an altogether different kind of gingerbread. No less sweet, but somehow lacking. It would serve, of course, but it would not smell the way the book's baking smelled, enticing and heady, full of rapture and delight, as though to not eat of it would be your very room. Greta knew how it felt. She had known the sweetness of the witch's gingerbread, could recall its hold upon her still, the little gingerbread house that had so entranced her and her brother all those years ago had been craft crafted with more than just cinnamon and cloves, honey and eggs and ginger. There was magic in it too, seeping from the book's pages, working its way into the dough. It was not only hunger that had driven them to eat it. So it's like a Hansel and Gretel retelling, I'm assuming. I'm unsure how I feel about it based on that that is Rengar. Let's say hi to Rengar. Rengar can make a nice little appearance in this video. And here we have the cutest thing of all of the video, of everything, ever. Rengar. <laughs> I know some people are just here to see Rengar, so here he is. <laughs> what baby. He's obviously very interested and excited about the book too. I am not sure how I feel about it based on the synopsis of the book. Like I wouldn't have picked it up for myself, but that's one of the beautiful things about getting books from a subscription box is that you read books you might not otherwise have found or picked up and it's new releases. So yeah, you're not gonna have read them. And it is a beautiful book. Let's see what it looks like naked actually. Oh, wait a minute, actually. There's like a second part of this. Look. I'll read this out too. Okay. Ginger, honey, cinnamon, flour. 20 years after the witch in the gingerbread house, Greta and Hans are struggling to get by. Their father and stepmother are long dead. Hans is deeply in debt from gambling and the countryside lies in ruin. It's people starving in the aftermath of a brutal war. Greta has a secret though. The witch's grimoire, secreted away and whispering in Greta's ear for the past two decades, and the recipe inside that makes the best gingerbread you've ever tasted. 
As long as she can bake, Greta can keep her small family afloat. But in a village full of superstition, Greta and her mysteriously addictive gingerbread, not to mention the rumours about her childhood misadventures, are a source of gossip and suspicion. And now, dark magic is returning to the woods and Greta's magic, magic she is still trying to understand, may be the only thing that can save her if it doesn't kill her first. That sounds way more interesting. So I don't know why it had two like things. So it has here, which I'm assuming is the actual blurb. And then it's got this at the back. From the back, it just kind of sounded mid, but actually that sounds quite interesting. So we'll see, it is a Hansel and Gretel retelling. So yeah, that'll be fun and interesting. And the naked book is gorgeous. Look at it. after the forest kill woods and then the back it's kind of like made like it's made of stone and yeah oh take a quat oh. it says something on the front here but it'll take me so long to read it and work out what it says that i'm not going to struggle on camera here because that would be embarrassing but yeah look how gorgeous this book is i don't care about the contents look how gorgeous i do care about the contents but yeah I'm not as hyped about the story of this book compared to the other one but you never know when you're reading a book there's been books I've not thought I'd enjoy that I've loved and vice versa but yeah let's quickly go through a wrap up of everything that was in the box so we've got the book After the Forest Kill Woods and this is the dust cover for it which is also stunning we have book tabs we have, I don't know why I put this back in here, but now I'm gonna to need to open it again. We have like a sword, I think, letter opener or ornament, and it's very pretty. We have a mouse mat, which is absolutely gorgeous. And please let me know if it's from a specific book so that I can read it. And then last of all, but certainly not least, we have the most stunning notebook that I'm going to make into a reading log. <laughs> I'm already so excited for November Lumi Crate. I'm so glad that I decided to subscribe to a book subscription box because I've never done it before and I was just fine not doing it and I don't know why I waited so long. But yeah, thank you so much for joining and I will see you again next time. Bye!